mobile DJ needs to be prepared for anything. So I'm going to give you in this video a list of some of the bits and pieces I have in my toolkit that I take to every single gig. So let's get started. These are cable ties, also known as zip ties. Super, super useful for securing cables together and keeping everything neat, uh, attaching cables to T-bars and truss, things like that. Speaking of securing and neatening up cables, next up is gaffer tape. You need gaffer tape at every single gig. It's probably one of the most important things to have in your toolkit, and I'm sure all of you have a roll of this at home. Perfect for securing down cables and pretty much doing everything. Along with gaffer tape, we have electrical tape, preferably in black. I just don't even can find a red roll at the moment. But this is perfect, again, for securing down cables, keeping everything nice and neat. Some light stands and T-bars require Allen keys to put them together, so always bring a set of different size Allen keys. You never know when you're going to find that you've lost an Allen key and you need to grab another one. So always make sure you have spare Allen keys, because if your truss system is put up with one of these things, well, if you don't have this, you may as well not have bought the truss. Safety is a priority, so everyone should be using these on their light setups. This is called a safety bond or a safety chain, because they used to be made of chain, they're now really made of steel cable, and they're used to go around your light, uh, a, a mounting point in your light, and around the truss. So if the main clamp fails, your light's not going to fall and hurt anyone. This next thing I usually always forget when I go to my gigs, and I always end up regretting it. It's just a simple torch. When you're rummaging around in a flight case or in a CD case looking for something really important, having that torch on you just to be able to see what you're doing, really, really helpful. It's always a good idea to bring an assortment of fuses with you. You never know if you're going to blow a fuse at a gig. So far, I have never blown a fuse. I had to replace a fuse at an actual gig, but it's always useful to carry these things around. With your light stand, it's usually held up with bolts and locking pins. Always make sure you bring along a couple of spares just in case some of them go missing. Let's head a bit more DMX. First of all, if you're doing up lighting, this is a crucial thing to have in your kit bag. It's just a simple little DMX splitter. It just uh, splits your DMX line from one output to two outputs, so you can much more easily run DMX around a, a venue. I've in fact done a review on this. This is a tiny little, relatively inexpensive DMX splitter, so check that review out in the description. If you're using DMX, it's a good idea to use these things. These are called DMX terminators, and they basically go on the end of a daisy chain and stop the DMX signal so you don't get any reflections back down your DMX line. If you sometimes see errors with your lights while you're programming, it's probably because you're getting errors being sent back down your DMX line. And having a terminator, that will stop that. Still talking about DMX here, but this time, wireless. If you're doing up lighting at an event, it's always really useful to have wireless systems in your kit bag. If you need to run a light on the other end of the room and you want to control it via DMX, well you're going to have to run a really long cable. Well, not if you're using wireless DMX. You can just set the system up and wirelessly transmit your DMX signal all around the venue. This here is the American DJ Wireflex system. I've in fact done a review of it on my YouTube channel, so just check out the link in the description below to go see that video. Also, glow sticks. It's a good idea to have a few of them in your case to throw out to the crowd. If you're using wireless mics at an event, it's always a good idea to have a wired mic spare, just in case something goes wrong. It's always a good idea to bring some spare audio adapters, particularly this guy here. This is a quarter inch jack to 3.5mm adapter, and most of you will know this is what connects our headphones into our mixers or MIDI controllers. It's always a good idea to have quite a few of these spare. Speaking of queuing, always make sure you bring a pair of backup headphones. You never know when they're going to come in handy. Also, it's really important you don't forget your flashing American DJ glasses. This is one of the most important ones. Always bring a little kit of tools. Uh, this I got from Ikea for like five or six quid, I think. And it's got a hammer and pliers and screwdriver and everything in here that you could possibly need. So always make sure you bring some tools to your event. It's always a good idea to have a couple of bungee cords. Really useful when loading gear into the car so it doesn't slide around everywhere. Everything's pretty much gone LED now, but if you're still out there using halogen fixtures, it's always a good idea to bring a couple of spare lamps. And of course, you need to remember to promote your DJ service, so don't forget to bring loads of business cards. So there you go, that's pretty much all the bits and pieces I take to gigs in my toolkit. If you can think of something I've missed off, please let me know in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed this video, please comment, rate and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.